my name is Cooper Vanatta. I am a global field service lead and I've been with SDB Solutions for three years now. When I was eight years old, my parents put my name into a raffle for a go-kart, um, which, you know, as a kid with a dad who loves cars and racing and stuff like that, great, perfect, you know, it's gonna be dad, son bonding, it's, it's great, right? I ended up winning and we went to the place I was raffling off the go-kart and um, they said, yeah, it'll be ready for you guys tomorrow. So we go home and uh, we go back in the morning and this is all from my parents' perspective. I don't remember any of it. So my mom says that they saw just a big window broken and the cops were there and they showed up and were like, what is going on? They're like, well, somebody broke in, came and cleaned out the entire inventory. So I can't give you guys a go-kart. I am terribly sorry. So the way that I'm lucky that way is um, I probably would have died <laughs> racing that go-kart because of just how, I don't want to say reckless I am, but how pushy I am when it comes down to racing. I like to be aggressive. I, I like to be on tails. I just, there's just like a, a need for speed, I guess you can say for me. And that's one story. I've got a million other stories of why I'm the luckiest. And one of them actually is how I got this job. Of course, he showed up in his dress blues with a bunch of shiny stuff and his um, his blood stripes on his pants. And I saw him and he kind of just said, hey, how you doing? And I'm like, oh, shit, here we go. Excuse me. Oh, shoot, here we go. And uh, I kind of just brushed it off and I got to talking to him. And he was the same way in high school and didn't care. And he kind of made something of himself and he is still to this day something and someone that I look up to because he was the same way I was in high school and he went through the Marine Corps, got a bunch of this knowledge and respect and um, all that good stuff uh, that you get from the military and it was kind of just sold at that point. I was like, look at the uniform, it's beautiful, I want to be in that. And then he's like, yeah, the uniform's great, but this is also what I got too. So it, it was a great selling point for me um, to get kind of a sense of structure um, because I didn't have any. I was not a great kid to my parents. And we look back at it today and we laugh and, and just great stuff like that. But yeah, it was, it's really, that's really it. I, I joined because of the uniform. <laughs> For those that think or have an inkling of maybe I should go into the military, they definitely should, um, especially if they were like me or even if they're not like me and they just want some sort of structure. The nice part about going into the military is you come out with four years of experience, a minimum of four years of experience with whatever job you're doing. So if you find something that you're really passionate about and the military has it for you, you can go and get that job come out with four years of experience, you're 22 years old and you have more experience than somebody who went to college for this, you know? So it's a great stepping stone to use. Um, I wouldn't push it on anybody, but if somebody's already thinking about going into the military, I would definitely tell them it's probably the best thing that'll ever happen to your life because it's the best thing that's ever happened in my life. This is my dream job. And I, I, I tell Mike and Jay this all the time. I will never leave. I, I love this company and I love what we're doing. And I, although we've had growing pains, um, we worked through them as best as we could. And it's, it's a different environment working with somebody who actually cares. Um, you know, I, Mike used to call once a month just to check up and how many CEOs a company do you know that will do that you just don't so 
like I said, that, that's another one of my ways that I'm the luckiest person in the world. Applied just saying, uh, screw it, why not? And here I am. Like I said, you'll never find a company like this. You just, you just won't. He's taking care of each and every one of us. I, I know for me, he's taking care of me a lot. And it, it, it's, it's refreshing to see because you talk to your friends or family or whatever, and they're like, oh, I got to go to work today. It sucks or this, that, the other. And I'm just here like, yeah, can't relate. I'm sorry. I love my job. I just <laughs> do. It's, it's nice to be home. It's nice to be actually wanted and actually shown that you are um, appreciated. So it's nice. It's great.